Unicorns and fairies won't make it into heaven. No, they won't. They will not make it into heaven. You must forsake your evil ways. Forsake your wicked ways. Turn from your idols. And turn to the living God. Turn to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because He wants to save you of your sin. He wants to deliver you from your sin. Jesus Christ wants to deliver you from your sin. It's not God's will that any should perish. It's not His will that any should perish. But that all men should come to repentance. That's alright. You're not going to flip Jesus Christ off. Best believe that. You must repent and turn from your wicked ways. That's right. You have to repent and go before God with a broken heart. And He will heal you. And He will receive you. But you have to forsake your sin. You have to forsake your idolatry. That's alright. I'm going to keep preaching. Forsake your sin. Forsake your idolatry. Forsake your wicked ways. And then He will receive you. He can't receive you if you're proud though. God does not hear the prayers of the proud. God does not hear the prayers of the proud. God does not hear the prayers of the proud. If you don't know God, you don't know what love is. And you don't know God because you forsake His commandments. Jesus Christ said, if you love me, you would keep my commandments. But you're not keeping His commandments. You're glorying in your sin. You boast in your sin. You boast in your sin. Look at the countenance on your face. You glory in your sin. You parade your sin just like Sodom did. And just like God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, He's going to destroy America too. Oh, it's coming. Best believe it's coming. God is going to destroy America. That's right. God's going to rain down hellfire and brimstone upon this wicked land. Unless you all repent, unless you repent, God is going to destroy America. That's right. God is going to destroy this wicked nation. This is a wicked, wicked nation. This is a wicked nation. They've killed over 60 million babies. Over 60 million babies since Roe versus Wade. That's right. In just 45 years, they've killed over 60 million babies. God is going to destroy this wicked nation. He is going to destroy this wicked nation. You glory in the death of unborn babies. You murder babies. You're a bunch of murderers. You are a bunch of murderers. You are a bunch of murderers, and God is going to destroy this murdering nation. He's going to destroy this abomination of a nation. God hates America. That's right. God hates America. God hates what America has become, this wicked nation. This is a wicked nation that glories in sin, that parades their sin. That's all right. That's all right, you're a bunch of sin paraders. But guess what? It's not God's will that any should perish. God wants all men to come to repentance. God requires all men to come to repentance. If you don't go before God with a broken heart, if you don't swallow your pride before God, guess what's going to happen? He's going to destroy you. He's going to say to you, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. That's what God's going to say. He's going to say, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. 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 That's what God's going to say. But you see, it's not God's will that any should perish. 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 No, it's not. It's not God's will that any should perish. God called all men to repent of their sins. God called all men to repent of their sins. That's right. Unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. 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 Unless you repent, you shall all 
shall likewise perish. Unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. That's right. That's right. Unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. God is going to destroy this wicked nation. God is going to destroy this wicked nation. God is going to destroy this wicked nation. And Lord, rebuke you too, you wicked devil. Lord, rebuke you too, you wicked devil. You preach a false gospel. You preach a false gospel. You don't give anybody the hope. Oh, don't touch me. 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 You don't. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. Lord, rebuke you, Reuben Chavez. Reuben Chavez. Lord, rebuke you, you wicked devil. Lord, rebuke you, you wicked devil. You are not a Christian. I call you out, you wicked devil. I call all you false prophets out. You don't give any of these people any hope. You don't give them hope. You don't give them hope. You don't tell them about the cross. You don't tell them about the cross. You lie to them, and you poke fun at them, and you mock them. You mock them. Lord, rebuke you. You are not Christians. You are not Christians. Lord, rebuke you, wicked devil. Lord, rebuke you. Lord, rebuke you. Lord, rebuke all of you. Lord, rebuke you, wicked devils. What is that? How is that sign leading them to Christ? How is that sign leading them to Christ? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? You guys aren't Christians, man. You guys sell them a false gospel. You got AIDS yet? I'm sorry? I don't know who that is. Are you guys are you guys Westboro Baptists? That's what you guys act like. I've seen your videos online. I've seen your videos, and you guys don't give anybody the gospel. You don't give them the gospel. No, all you do is you make fun of them. All you do is make fun of them and pick fights with them. You don't give them the gospel. You don't give them the gospel. Oh, I know you were. I know you were. Yeah, I was out there. You guys don't give them the gospel. Really? Really? Got AIDS yet? Got AIDS yet? Yeah, that's really giving them the gospel, isn't it? That's really giving them the gospel, isn't it? That's really giving them the gospel, isn't it? You guys need to repent. You guys aren't Christians. You guys aren't Christians. You guys aren't Christians. No, you're not. You guys aren't Christians. Lord rebuke Reuben Chavez. His real name ain't even Reuben Israel. His name is Reuben Chavez. He's an imposter. He's an imposter. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, that's right, Reuben. You're a wolf in sheep's clothing, you wicked devil. You wicked devil. How dare you? How dare you? Why don't you give them the gospel? Why don't you give them the gospel? Why don't you tell them what Jesus Christ did on the cross for them? Why don't you tell them that? Why, yeah, exactly. Why don't you tell them that? You're going to have to answer to God one day. And he's going to say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. That's what he's going to say to you, wicked devils. That's what he's going to say to you, wicked devils. That's what he's going to say to you, you wicked devil. You're gonna, that's what he's going to say to you, you wicked devil. I don't know you. And guess what? You judge a you judge a tree by its fruit, right? And this is your fruit. 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 I've seen you guys online. You pick fights with the people. You push the people. You cuss at people. You don't give them the gospel. You don't give them the gospel of Jesus Christ. You don't give them the gospel of Jesus Christ. You don't give them no hope. You don't give them no hope at all. You don't give them no. I was there yesterday. I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was in Piedmont Park. I preached in there for five hours. So what's your point? So what's your point? Why did that have to go over there? I'm, I'm rebuking them because they need to be rebuked. They don't give these people any hope. They don't give them the gospel. No, they say, they say, God aids yet? God aids yet? Would Jesus Christ say that? Would Jesus Christ say God aids yet? No, he wouldn't. He's going to tell you guys, he's going to say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. That's what he's going to say to you, Reuben Israel, Reuben Chavez, because that's your real name. That's his real name, Reuben Chavez. His name ain't even Reuben Israel. Sir, obviously you're not with these other guys. Not at all. I rebuke those wicked what's, devils. What's the difference between uh, you and these guys over here? I actually give the gospel. Okay. I actually give the people hope. And what is that hope? That hope is found in Jesus Christ. He is the hope of glory. Jesus Christ is the hope of glory. 
Okay, so I know this group over here is known uh, what some people call hate speech, being hateful. Uh, they're telling homosexuals that they're going to burn in hell. I mean, is, what, do you tell homosexuals they're going to burn in hell or no? If they don't repent, they will. Okay. If they don't repent, they will. They have to forsake their idols. See, Jesus Christ came in this world. Jesus Christ came in this world. He died for the sins of mankind, so we no longer have to live in our sin. We no longer have to live in our sin. Jesus Christ said, oh, let me read scripture for you. He's a false prophet. Why? Because I tell the truth? Because I tell the truth? I go by the Bible. That's all right. You can call me a false prophet all you want. He said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. So when you're in Christ Jesus, he will make you a new creation. He will push out that old simple lifestyle out of you. He did it to me. He, he delivered me from a fornication lifestyle. He delivered me from pornography. He delivered me from lust. He delivered me from drug dealing and drug abusing. He delivered me from all of that. Well, what, have you talked to that uh, Ruben guy personally? I'm not going to. Well, you should. I mean, that's, that, that's, that's uh, Matthew 18. you got to take it. I rebuked him. The word of God says, the word of God says, mark and avoid them which cause divisions. And I marked and avoided him. He's already, he's, no he's not. He's already been rebuked. He's already been rebuked and he does not receive rebuke or approve or correction. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Lord rebuke you, Chavez. You're going to answer to God. You're going to answer to God, you wicked devil. Jesus Christ is the hope of glory. That's right. He loves you. Jesus Christ wants to see you. He wants to see you turn unto Him. Jesus Christ wants to deliver you from your sinful lifestyle. He does not want to send you to hell. He wants to bring you deliverance. Christ wants to bring you deliverance. Christ wants to bring you deliverance. Christ loves you enough. He loves you enough to have a guy like me come out here and tell you the truth. I'm not with those other wicked devils. They don't give homosexuals hope. They don't give them hope. No. All they say is got AIDS yet? No. Well, God, Jesus Christ never said that. Jesus Christ never said got AIDS yet? No. Jesus Christ, I'm actually here preaching the gospel. I'm not with them. I'm not with them. I actually preach the gospel that Jesus Christ can set people free and he wants to set you free. He doesn't want you to go to hell that's not his desire for anyone the word of God says the word of God says it's not God's will that any should perish but that all men should come to repentance these guys offer no hope no hope whatsoever no hope and they will get rebuked and when they stand before God unless they repent God is gonna say depart from me ye workers of iniquity I never knew you that's what he's gonna say to those wicked devils Jesus Christ calls all men to repentance. That's what Jesus Christ does. He loves you enough to call you to repentance. He loves you enough to call you to repentance. for the delivering power of Jesus Christ. Praise God for deliverance. He set me free from a fornication lifestyle. He set me free from drug use. He set me free from alcohol. He set me free from pornography. He set me free. He set me free from lust. Jesus Christ set me free from tobacco and cigarettes. He set me free from drug use. He set me free from drug dealing. That's right. He set me free, free from pride. Jesus Christ, he has the power to deliver men. He has the power to deliver you. Jesus Christ wants to deliver you. He wants to heal you. He wants to heal your broken heart. Jesus Christ wants to heal your broken heart. If you have a broken heart, Jesus Christ will heal it. He will heal your broken heart if you come to him broken. If you come before Christ broken, he will heal your broken heart. He wants to heal you. He wants to, he wants to love you. He wants to love you. He wants to heal your broken heart. Jesus Christ wants to heal your broken heart. He wants to heal your broken heart. 
He loves you. He sent me out here to tell you that, that he wants to heal your broken heart. He wants to heal your broken heart. He wants to heal your brokenness. Jesus Christ wants to heal your brokenness. He wants to deliver you from your brokenness. He wants to heal you of that broken spirit and that broken heart. He loves you enough to have me come out here and tell you that today. He does love you. Jesus Christ has the power to make you new. He has the power to make you new, a new creation. And he wants to heal you. He wants to heal you. That's right. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to deliver you. Jesus Christ wants to deliver you. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. Jesus Christ wants to heal you of a broken heart. He wants to deliver you of your brokenness. He wants to deliver you of your brokenness. He wants to heal you of your brokenness. He wants to deliver you. Jesus Christ wants to deliver you. He wants to heal you of your brokenness. That's right. He wants to heal you of your brokenness. Jesus Christ wants to heal you of your brokenness. He wants to heal you. Jesus Christ wants to heal you of your brokenness. That's right. He wants to heal you. Jesus Christ has that power to heal and deliver you from all brokenness, from all sins, from all iniquity. That's right. He has the power to do that, and he wants to do that. 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 Jesus Christ wants to heal you. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you.
just uh, passed uh, Ruben Chavez like 10 minutes ago. I'm a uh, I'm uh, I, I can barely hear you, but I'm, I'm right by Juniper Street. Okay. I'm sure he did. Lord rebuke you, Satan. Lord rebuke these wicked devils. Jesus Christ wants to set you free. He wants to set you free of your pride. He wants to set you free of your addictions. He can set you free from your addictions. He can set you free from addicting lifestyles. Jesus Christ can set you free from pride. He can set you free from a multitude of sin. All sin. But you must go before Him with a broken heart. You must go before Jesus with a broken heart. So that way He can take all those broken pieces and heal you. And put all those pieces back together. He wants to put those pieces together. He has to do it though. Jesus has to do it. We can't do it ourselves. I tried doing it myself, and it, led, it, it caused me to almost get killed. Trying to live my own way, in my own, in my own lust, in my own flesh, it almost cost me my life. And if I would have died in my sin, I would have died and went to hell. I would have died and went to hell. But God had to break me down. He had, he had to, he, I had to hit rock bottom so I would finally surrender unto Him and give Him my whole heart. So he could put it together. He is the one that puts our heart together. He's the one that takes those broken pieces. And when we and when we when we when we allow him to put our heart together, he will heal and deliver us and make us whole. He will make us a new creation. He will make us a new creation. Jesus Christ wants to make you a new creation. But you have to surrender to him and you have to give up them old simple lifestyles. That's not asking a whole lot, I don't think. I don't think that's asking a whole lot to surrender and submit unto God. To God, Jesus Christ. I'm sure you haven't. Oh, I'm not. I'm actually preaching love, sir. I'm preaching love. I'm actually giving you guys the grace of God. The grace of God tells men the truth. It doesn't leave men dead in their sins. The grace of God will tell men that they must flee the wrath to come. Because it is coming. But it's not God's will that any should perish. That is not His will at all. God does not want to see you perish. He does not want to see you perish. And He loves you enough to give you that free will to make your own choices in life. He gives you free will to make your own choices in life. That's right. God loves you. He loves you enough to send Jesus Christ into this world to die for your sins so you no longer have to be in bondage to your sin. You no longer have to live in bondage to your sin if you call upon Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior with a broken heart. If you go before Him with a broken heart, He can heal you. He can take all those broken pieces and He can put them together. And that's what He wants to do. He wants to take all those broken pieces of your heart and put them together Himself and mend them. Any kind of trauma you've been caused in your life, He wants to deliver you from that trauma. Jesus was not gay. He was not gay. I don't know where you get your theology, but it's not from the Bible. Jesus was not gay. And so are you. And so are you, sir. 
He wants to heal your broken hearts. He wants to heal you of trauma. He wants to heal you, heal you of sexual perversion. He wants to heal you of molestation. He wants to heal you of all these things. He loves you, and He loves you enough to have us come out here and tell you the truth in love. To not berate you, to not belittle you, but tell you the truth in love. To tell you the truth in love, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Somebody told me, hey, you need to repent. You're living in sin. The whole God loves you thing, I never changed it. Are you the guy that just called me a false prophet? Yeah. I'm with this guy. I'm not with them. I don't know what. I don't. I don't know why. I, did you not see me rebuking them? No, I thought you were with them. No, not at all. I'm not with those guys. They don't give hope. They don't give. They don't give the gospel. Well, I agree with their message. Well, their, their message. I was just telling him. Their, their I, don't like seeing, I don't like seeing division, Christians. Well, see, but see, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, "Don't think I came to bring peace. I came to bring division." Right. The Bible says, "Mark them." I have good brothers. Paul also talked about unity and, and not to, not to slander, unity and truth, not though, to and true, brother, and true.